dubbed as one of the most grueling endurance race in the world. The Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines returns for another engagement bigger and better. Led by Kona World Champion and three-time Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines winner Pete Jacobs and Carolyn Steffen, this year's field will feature over 2,000 triathletes from across six continents and 35 countries, making this the biggest and most exciting Ironman race the country has ever seen. Already on its fifth year, the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines has also become one of the most anticipated sporting events in the country. Attracting thousands of local and foreign participants since 2009. So if you have the guts to swim 1.2 miles, tackle a 56 mile bike ride, and finish a grueling 13.1 mile run, then join us as we stretch the limit of human endurance. This is not your ordinary triathlon. This is the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Power to victory, year five. Since its inaugural race in 2009, the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines has quickly become the biggest and most exciting Ironman race in this part of the world. Presented by Cobra Energy Drink and organized by Sunrise Events Incorporated, the 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines returns to the Queen City of the South, Cebu, for another world-class race. Well, you know, the fifth anniversary of the Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines is our biggest race. We have over 2,000 athletes, we have over 35 countries, and it's, it's really a culmination in all the hard work that we've we put into to making this special. We have um, an outstanding cast of professionals led by uh, defending world champion Pete Jacobs, and at the same time, we also have two-time world champion uh, Maka, Chris McCormick. And we have first runner-up in the women's category, Caroline Stefani. But the, the, the pro field is really deep. Come from our, we have fantastic, fantastic participation uh, from the Philippines, which tells me that the sport of triathlon has really grown tremendously in the Philippines. This is really a statement year for Cobra Ironman. Since five years of mounting this event, it's a, it's a statement that we're here for the long haul and we see that there's a, a tremendous support that's, that's really go, going for, for Cobra Ironman. So far, we are very happy with how this is mounted. And so long as uh, we see it, it, it as a fit, uh, a fit program for the brand, you, Cobra will continue to support. Building on the success of the past four Cobra Ironman races, anticipation for this year's race was at an all-time high. As slots for the race were sold out just four days after they were offered to the public. Uh, I think what makes it uh, better is the fact that we're going to have uh, so many different countries participating. We have a lot of people who are returning, but we also have people coming for the first time. We have cancer survivors who are participating. You know, we have people who have different advocacies. They're doing it for their families, they're doing it for themselves, they're doing it for a healthy lifestyle. With no less than defending Kona Ironman champion Pete Jacobs leading an illustrious international field, this year's Cobra Ironman race is destined to be one for the ages, as it will also serve as a qualifier for the prestigious Ironman 70.3 World Championships in Las Vegas, Nevada, later this year. Some of the best athletes in the world are here this weekend, and I think they're going to really put on a great show for the spectators. For all the age group athletes, I think they're going to experience Filipino hospitality. They're going to experience a great race on a great course, and I think it's going to be a terrific day. For this year, Participants will open the race with a 1.2-mile open water swim on the white sands of the picturesque Shangri-La Mactan Resort and Spa. They will then tackle a grueling 56-mile, two-loop bike ride towards the main island of Cebu, 
taking them across four cities linked via a coastline highway. Before ending the race with a challenging 13.1 mile two loop run along the tree lined streets of Punta Engano in Lapu Lapu City. The course is almost the same as last year. The swim is a little different because we changed instead of swimming clockwise, we're now swimming counterclockwise. We felt that was an easier transition. Uh, the only thing different we probably added there was the CEO category. Um, they will go off in the first wave, but then the bike is the same. Uh, we will still go through the four municipalities. We'll start in Lapu Lapu, Cebu, Mandawe, and, and Talisai. We'll be out on the SRP doing the four loops out and back. Uh, and the run, the run is, is virtually the same as last year. I think the only benefit, if you will, is that the trees have grown a little bit. There's a little bit more shade, but not a lot. I, I think the challenge is in the distance itself. I mean, remember, you're swimming 1.9 kilometers in the ocean and you run out of the water and you jump on your bike and you'll do a grueling 90 kilometer bike ride. You get off that and you've got a 21.1 kilometer run. So the distance itself is a challenge. This year will also mark the second time that the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines will be staged in Cebu. And the local government, along with Cebu Governor Hilario Junjun Davide III, Lapu Lapu City Mayor Paz Rasada, and Cebu Provincial Administrator Mark Tolentino spared no expense in providing the best race experience, but also for their families and friends who will be traveling to Cebu to support them. Here in Lapu Lapu, talking about Lapu Lapu, we're promoting actually sports tourism and the people that come in here that they really get to enjoy the things they're supposed to. Alam mo naman ng Cebuano malambing and uh, we really get to, ano, now we give everything para at least uh, they get to enjoy their stay here. Well, the partnership with Cobra Energy Rink has been very special. They took a leap of faith with us when we first started the race uh, five years ago and they were a startup business as well and now they're the leading brand in, in the energy drink. Uh, now that we've come to the province of Cebu, the province of Cebu has been very supportive, um, as have all of the municipalities, and, and Mayor Paz uh, in particular here in, in Lapu Lapu, you know, the beautiful Shangri-La. It takes a partnership with your sponsors and all the other people to make it successful. Mayong hapon, kaninyong tanan. I'd like to thank... The organizers also made sure that the participants will have something special to remember the race, tapping world-renowned Cebuano designer Kenneth Cobonpue to design the medals for the second year. Well, I designed the first medal when the organizers uh, decided to hold it in Cebu. So they asked me to design for it. It's been my second year. The medal of this year, just like last year, has always been inspired by the three events. So I wanted to use three different materials for the medal. So. The pewter here represents water, and then it goes into the rubber tube here, which is the represents the bicycle event, and then the bronze here represents the running, the track. When we come back, We'll get up close and personal with defending Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines champion, Pete Jacobs. And find out what it takes to become a world-class triathlete. This is the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Power to victory. Year 5. Islands. Islands.
It's more fun. Philippine Island. The 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Century Tuna, 2XU, Aquasphere, Department of Tourism. It's more fun in the Philippines. The sport of triathlon is a personal journey. It is a battle between a triathlete and his limits. A test of his endurance and his will to succeed. And for the last three years, Australia's Pete Jacobs has been winning that battle. Hi, I'm Pete Jacobs, Ironman World Champion from 2012. I'm here in Ironman 70.3 Philippines, defending my title. Regarded as one of the top triathletes today, the 31-year-old Australian has been the king of the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines since 2010. Last year, Jacobs also ended the season by winning the 2012 Kona Ironman World Championships in Hawaii. And he is a favorite to win the title again this year. Prepared pretty well for this. Uh, you know, last year I did an Ironman just two weeks before. This year my Ironman that I did was four weeks ago. So I've had a bit of training time and I think I'm feeling pretty fit and, uh, you know, in a better, better place than I was last year. Jacobs is also a three-time Hawaii Ironman top 10 finisher. And he is aware that everybody will be gunning for his crown this year. I don't think I've got an advantage over the other athletes just because I've been here before. But I do feel confident, um, you know, of what I've done in, uh, in my preparation and confident that I do race well here in the Philippines at this time of the year. And uh, let's just see if history can play out once again. The competition is really strong here, um, so it's going to be a very fast race from the start in the swim. So I'm prepared to swim very hard and uh, get off the in, onto the bike with the leaders, and then I'm going to push hard on the bike to try and uh, get away from them. One of those triathletes looking to unseat Jacobs at the top of the pecking order is Chris McCormack. Look for that number. A fellow Australian like Jacobs, McCormack is a seasoned triathlete, capable of pulling out a win in every race. I prepared pretty well. It's, um, it's, I'm using this as a stepping stone for my Kona preparation. It's a, it's a perfect uh, race for that. I'm looking forward to the race. I'm relatively fit. I know you've got an amazing field, but I, I'm prepared pretty well. Honestly, I think my strengths are well, my experience. I'm definitely getting older and on the, so I'm always going to be very, very close to the front. And I'm a, a tactically very astute racer. I, I tend to, because I'd rather have a, have a go at winning than have, never have a go at all. I don't, uh, I, yeah, I play to win, I don't play to come fit. A two-time winner of the Ironman World Championships back in 2007 and 2010. McCormack also knows that it will be hard to beat Jacobs, especially in Cebu. Uh, Pete Jacobs is an amazing athlete. He, he owns this event in the Philippines. A, a guy I, I've known my whole life. He's about uh, six or seven years younger than me, so uh, very well. I think he's one of the best swimmers in the world, especially in Ironman racing. Among the contenders for this year includes Australian Olympic triathlete Courtney Atkinson. New Zealand's Cameron Brown, Canada's Brent McMahon, and 2012 Cairns Ironman champion David Dello. This is my third visit to the Philippines. I came here for the Subic Bay 5150 last year and won that race, so this is my second time racing here and excited. It's a great event, very excited for the race. Well, you've got two Kona champions here. You've got Pete Jacobs and Chris McCormack, but then there's also good five or six um, other guys just below them who are uh, very strong competitors. Um, Brett McMahon, Courtney Atkinson, uh, Ben Allen. It's going to be a very hard race, very fast, and so it's going to be exciting. 
Well, I've had a good preparation and my training's going well, so I try not to worry about the other guys too much, just focus on myself and um, yeah, see what, see what the outcome is. Hopefully I can win it that way. I come here to try and win the event, um, it's as simple as that, but uh, you know, it's a quality field. I mean, we've got two Ironman world champions here. Um, this is the second time I've ever raced an Ironman, a 70.3 Ironman race. So um, it's all very new to me. I've come from the Olympic Games side of the sport, um, but I welcome the challenge. For me, it's, it's gonna be a quick race and because it's so hot, it, at the end, it, it really comes down to those last, you know, maybe last 10K on the run where, you know, either the wheels could fall off or you can get really strong. So, um, you know, I think looking towards the last 10K of the run will really sort everything out. Coming here, uh, Fred said there was gonna be uh, some great athletes here and, and he was right. He brought some phenomenal talent. The defending champion, Pete Jacobs, is here, defending Ironman champion. There's a, a, a deep field, uh, you know, that it's, it's one of the best uh, fields in the world. So I'm excited to be here and go up against, you know, world champions and, and see what happens. I know, you know, Chris and Pete's uh, strengths and weaknesses and I hope to uh, swim fast, get into the lead on the bike, and then have the fastest run I possibly can. Courtney Atkinson, he's going to be the man to beat. He's uh, extremely fast, you know, he's got that short course background and um, there's a few other short course guys, you know, but uh, Pete Jacobs, Chris McCormick, a uh, whole ho host of Aussies, you know, David Dello, so it's going to be tough racing. I'd love to get on the podium again, but it's going to be very, very tough. It's a uh, yeah, very, very strong field, so it's going to, be, uh, going to be a tough, tough race. In the women's draw, defending Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines champion Caroline Steffen will be looking to keep her title despite stiff competition from this year's strong field. Affectionately known in the triathlon community as Xena, Stefan is no pushover, as evidenced by her two ITU Long Distance Triathlon World Titles. A winner at the Asia Pacific Ironman Championships last year, Stefan is a force to be reckoned with, and the rest of the field would be hard pressed to knock her off her game. Well, I won it last year and I always want to defend titles and uh, I know it's not, not easy to defend, it's easy to win the first title, so uh, we'll, go, we'll go hard on Sunday and uh, we want to go for the win. Leading the charge to unseat Stefan as Cobra Ironman champion is none other than Australia's Belinda Granger, a former Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines champion herself. Granger has the skill and tools to pose a serious threat to Stefan's bid for back-to-back -back Ironman titles. Even at 40 years old, Granger is a powerhouse on the bike and is a strong swimmer capable of stealing a race given an opportunity. I know to do well in this race I have to have a good swim, I have to get out of swim with the lead girls. I need to try and get out as close to Carol and Stefan as I can and with Bree Wee two girls that were first and second last year. So it's going to be a really interesting race and I expect it to be a very, very tough race this year. I suppose my biggest advantage is in my experience. You know, I've done a lot of racing in Asia. I've spent my career racing in Asia, so I know what to expect with the weather and, the, and with the heat and the humidity. Also, just with the general setup on the roads, I know what to look out for, um, technical bike course. And I love the Philippines. You know, I've been coming here for years, I get such great crowd support, so I'm going to use all of those things to my advantage, and if I can finish on the podium again, then I'll be a happy girl. Aside from Granger, other names to look out for in the women's draw include Great Britain's Jackie Slack, as well as American Dynamo Bree Wee. Um, you know, th th this time, this race, I've had really great preparation. Um, I've raced a lot already this year and it was time for me to take a little bit of a break. So I've been home for three weeks preparing for this race. This is my fourth time racing Philippines 70.3 and I'm really excited to be here. I'm hoping that they go similar to last year. I had a really strong race here last year and came in second to Carolyn so I'm hoping to back that up again this year. Another name expected to make a splash this year is Filipina triathlete Monica Torres. A four-time Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines Filipina elite champion, Monica will be competing in her first Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines race as a pro. But what does it really take to be a successful triathlete? Is it all about the skill? 
is it the dedication to train? Or is it the innate ability to block off everything and then push yourself to the limit? Well, to be a champion, you need to have physical gifts, you need to work enormously hard, and you need a certain mental toughness. During the race, um, you know, the mind plays a big role. And uh, my mindset and uh, advice that I would give is to tell yourself it's easier than it is. Tell yourself it's not that hot. Um, tell yourself you have to keep going until you physically can't go any further. Just keep moving forward and you'll make it to the finish line. The first part of a triathlon is the swim. It is probably the hardest of the three, and a good and strong swim can put you in a good position to contend for a podium finish. How you perform on the bike course also plays a big part in a triathlete's success. The bike part of the race usually allows you to take in food and water, and it's also where you pace yourself for the grueling run that comes in the end. When we come back, we'll hook you up with two elite Filipino triathletes and find out who makes a good start as the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines finally gets underway in Cebu. This is the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Power to victory. Year 5. No Ironman weekend would be complete without the Alaska Iron Kids Triathlon. Now in its fifth year, the Alaska Iron Kids race is the perfect venue for budding triathletes to hone their skills on the swim, bike, and run. The race aims to promote proper nutrition and a healthy, active lifestyle among the youth. Under a gray and overcast sky, nearly 200 youth participants, along with their proud parents and loved ones, gathered at the Shangri-La Mactan Resort and Spa for the 2013 Alaska Iron Kids Race. German Arno Bates ruled the boys 13 to 14 category. Cebu's Justin Liam Chongbian finished the race in second place. Shia Ruth from Dipolog City topped the girls 13 to 14 category, followed by fellow 13 year old Alexandra Leather from Makati City. Bam Bam Manglik Mot won the boys 11 to 12 category with Craig Joshua Ui taking second place. My coaches are really good. Coach Jojo, a really good coach in triathlon. Um, coach Monica, August Benito, of course we know him. They know me for a long time. I know them for a long time. So they gave me programs and taught me how to do, do the race properly and clean. 12-year-old Lauren Justine Plaza won her category. Ang triathlon po kasi sobrang masaya po siya. It doesn't matter kung kung last ka, at least naka-finish naka ka, may medal ka pa. Ayan po, train ng train until you succeed. 
Unfortunately, the weather took a turn for the worse, as heavy rain and lightning prompted organizers to cancel the race for the girls and boys ages 6 to 8 and 9 to 10 categories for the safety of the children. Congratulations to the 2013 Alaska Iron Kids finishers. The 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Century Tuna, 2XU, Aquasphere, Department of Tourism, It's More Fun in the Philippines. Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. This is probably one of the most popular quotes in all of sports, but it doesn't hold true all the time. Sometimes you compete not to win, but to prove to yourself that you can push your limit, that you have the courage to find the winner within. For Elsie Langit, competing has been a way of life. At the age of 10, Elsie was already a member of the national swimming team. And by high school, she was already competing as a member of the national triathlon team. I started to be like, before national team, looking for a swimmer. Then uh, why don't you try out for a national team a triathlon? They're looking for a good swimmer. So from that moment on, I started uh, doing triathlon. It's really fun. I mean, it's a one, three different sport in one sport. Now an accomplished triathlete, Elsie came close to winning the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines title last year, if not for a cramp that hobbled her midway through the race. Uh, I didn't have a good swim, but coming out of the water almost the same time as Kim. On the bike, you know, halfway mark ng bike, na feel ko ring cramp, so I know I'm damage control all through the race. Finish second, so I, was, I wasn't happy with it, but I'm really great, grateful that I finished that race. So. Learning from her mistakes last season, Elsie is hungrier than ever to win the title. She also knows that it will be tough. But she's ready, and she's been preparing for this all her life. You have to be mentally tough, and you know you have to prepare, be responsible, and let's see what will happen this year. Another Filipino triathlete to watch out for this year is defending Cobra Ironman Filipino elite champion Augusto Benedicto. Competing in only his fourth Ironman event, the then 32-year-old Benedicto surprised everybody as the former ice delivery boy wasn't even among the favorites to win the tournament. 2009, yun na simula ng Ironman na 7.3. Sumali na ako agad. A former SEA Games duathlon bronze medalist, Benedicto will be heading to Cebu, looking to repeat as champion. And despite his steady improvement year after year, Benedicto also knows that repeating as Cobra Ironman champion will not be easy. 20, 20, number one ah! <laughs> mga elite na sa elite Pinoy nangangarap na maging isang champion. Lahat. Pero sa akin naman, uh, masayang masaya rin ako kung ano man mang, ang kwan. Back to back poli sana. Ready na! A professional basketball coach once said that you should never underestimate the heart of a champion. And perhaps there is no better proof to those words than Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines participant Manny Angeles. Then age 29, Manny was at the top of his game. He was young, active, and a gym rat. Until one day when his world began to crumble. 
2005 and a few years before that, I was very active with badminton. Um, and then as, I, as we got closer, or like mid-2005, I, I felt like I wasn't uh, as fit as before. I was and I started having chest pains. And then I had a checkup. And then that actually showed I had the mass on top of my heart, which was as big as my heart. Manny spent almost a year battling non-Hodgins lymphoma. And after undergoing surgery and numerous chemotherapy sessions, he was finally able to kick the disease. I was thinking it was going But I would say it was just that fighting spirit and that will that I wanted to live and I wanted to heal this pain. Now cancer-free, Manny is using triathlon to keep himself fit. He is also a testament that cancer is just a word and not a sentence. It's a very enjoyable experience uh, this summer Sunday. So we look forward to seeing you at the race and good luck to all our participants. The impressive pro field, along with race organizers and sponsors, met the sizable press corps that trekked to Cebu for the Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Cause if I can do it, then you can do it, and together we will push it up the mountain. The gathered press and pros were treated to a live performance by Apple Diop of the Black Eyed Peas. The international hitmaker will compete in his very first triathlon as part of a relay team to raise awareness for peace and education in Mindanao. I know I can, I know you can, let's get together and make a plan. Apple's enthusiastic participation is added proof that triathlon is indeed more fun in the Philippines. Definitely double, double, twice the fun, fun in Cebu, Iron Man. It's more fun in the Philippines. Marami salamat po sa'yo. What's also more fun for triathletes is carbo-loading, as participants enjoy their carbo-charged dinners capped off with a firework display. Welcome to the Cobra Ironman 2013. Triathletes continue to register and check in their bikes one day before race day. They can perform last-minute adjustments on their bike up until the race starts the next morning. Mother Nature stayed true to form as rain ushered the start of the 2013 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines. With mounting anticipation, the field gathered on the sandy beach of the Shangri-La Mactan Resort and Spa. For current champion Pete Jacobs, the minutes ticked by as he prepared to defend his title for the third time on Philippine soil. Pros. Elites. Age groupers and relay teams perform their warm-ups and stretches under a steady rain and a darkening sky. Despite the wet weather, supporters and spectators came out in droves to watch and cheer on the triathletes. Welcome to out now. We are five minutes to start. Five the 2013 start. Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines officially kicks off with a traditional gun start. The first wave of swimmers consists of the men's and women's pros, the Filipino elites, and the CEOs. The waters of Mactan churn as Pete Jacobs, Caroline Stephan, and the rest of the field tackle the swim loop that runs for 1.9 kilometers. 
Leading the way are two Australians, namely defending champion Pete Jacobs and Olympic triathlete Courtney Atkinson. As the pros pulled further away from the shore, members of relay teams and male age group 18 to 39 that formed the second wave of swimmers started their Cobra Ironman race. As the third wave comprised of male triathletes from the age group of 40 and above, and all female triathletes took to the waters of Bactan. The 2013 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines was well underway. First to emerge from the water is Atkinson while spectators witness a rather unfamiliar view of Jacobs trailing behind the early race leader. Atkinson clocked in a swim time of 23 minutes and 50 seconds, while Jacobs recorded a time of 23 minutes and 53 seconds. Canada's Brent McMahon is third out of the water followed by the bulk of the pros including Ben Allen and Team Alaska's David Dello. <laughs> Defending women's pro champion Caroline Steffen is the first female pro to finish the swim course. Followed by USA's Bree Wee. Pros completed the first leg of the race, the rest of the field tackled the 1.9 kilometer swim loop. Meanwhile, at the first transition area, Courtney Atkinson wheels out his bike ahead of defending champ Pete Jacobs. Could it be a sign of things to come as the race switches from the open water? to the asphalt streets of Cebu. Stay tuned. This is the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Power to victory. Year five. Sunrise Events Incorporated and Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank LBC, the country's leading courier and cargo service provider. A partner of the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines race since 2012, LBC was responsible for providing logistics planning and support all throughout the three-day event. Transporting supplies and equipment from Manila to Cebu and then back to Manila. The success of this year's Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines also wouldn't have been possible without the help of our partners. To our sponsors and partners, Thank you for helping make the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines the biggest and grandest Ironman event in the country. The 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Century Tuna, 2XU, Aquasphere, Department of Tourism, It's More Fun in the Philippines. Under a steady downpour, the 2013 Cobra Energy Drink 70.3 Philippines progressed into the bike stage. The route takes the field 90.1 kilometers through the cities of Lapu-Lapu, Mandawe, Cebu, and Talisay. In the lead is a pro triathlete from Australia, but his name isn't Pete Jacobs. Olympic triathlete Courtney Atkinson became the early race leader when he finished the swim stage ahead of the three-time Cobra Ironman champ. Meanwhile, 
As Atkinson and Jacobs start logging in the miles on their bikes, the rest of the field clock in their swim times. Team Alaska TVV's Dihil Anderson Lee is the first Filipino elite out of the water with a time of 26 minutes and 35 seconds. Lee's Alaska teammate Jenny Guerrero is the first female Filipino elite to finish the swim course in 29 minutes and 35 seconds. The rest of the age groupers emerge from the water as fans and spectators cheer them on. For some participants, neither rain nor fatigue has dampened their enthusiasm. But the 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines is far from over as the race leaders hit the rain-slick streets of Lapu-Lapu, Mandawe, Cebu City, and Talisay. The iconic Marcelo Fernand Bridge never fails to offer scenic views of the Cebu Harbor, but sightseeing takes a back seat to world-class triathletes racing towards Ironman glory. Courtney Atkinson maintains his lead in the bike race, while the rest of the pack, including three-time champ Pete Jacobs, is forced to play catch-up. Canadian Brent McMahon is in hot pursuit of the race leader. Two-time world champion Maka. David Dello. Josh Ricks, along with Ironman Philippines veterans Cameron Brown and Ben Allen all have a shot at the lead. And right in the thick of things is defending women's pro champion Caroline Steffen giving the boys a good run for their money. Stefan establishes and solidifies her dominance on two wheels despite the slick conditions. Women's pros Bree Wee and Belinda Granger are locked in a tight battle for second place. Behind women's pro leader Caroline Steffen, Brie and Belinda have claimed podium finishes in the last two Cobra Ironman races. In the home front, Filipino women's elite Sandra Gonzalez Araulio grabbed the lead, setting a faster pace. Meanwhile, Filipino men's elite August Benedicto looks to make up for lost time on the bike.
Along with the downpour, bad luck seemed to rain on some of the participants during the bike race. Filipino elite Elsie Langit was not spared as a bump tire ended her Cebu campaign. Neither the rain nor race leader Courtney Atkinson seemed to let up as the bike race progressed. Atkinson still maintains the lead after 90 kilometers. He finishes the course in 2 hours, 12 minutes, and 38 seconds. The third and final stage of the 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines looms ahead. It is Peak Jacobs' last chance to grab the lead. In the 21-kilometer run, can the Australian make it four in a row in the Philippines? Stay tuned. This is the Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines. Powered to victory. Year 5. The 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines would like to thank Century Tuna, 2XU, Aquasphere, Department of Tourism, it's more fun in the Philippines. Jacob's bid for a fourth successive title is in jeopardy as the Australian Trails compatriot and Olympic triathlete Courtney Atkinson after two stages in the race. Atkinson has set the pace during the swim and bike stages. The 21.1 kilometer run is traditionally where Jacobs is strongest. Can Jacobs reverse his fortune in Cebu in time to win four in a row? In the women's pro category, Stefan never relinquished the lead, posting an impressive time on the bike at 2 hours, 18 minutes and 16 seconds. At this point in the race, Caroline holds a 10-minute lead over challengers Bree and Belinda. This guy is extremely fast on the run and right behind. Oh, yeah. In the run-up to the 2013 race, the triathletes had prepared for high temperatures and sizzling heat in Cebu. But the sun has yet to make an appearance on a rainy race day. With temperatures down to manageable levels, the triathletes could log in faster run times. Despite the rain, local residents came out in droves to support the triathletes. Ironman veteran Monica Torres is running as a competitor from the women's pro division this year, having switched from the Filipino elite category. In the Filipino elite category, Banjo Norte leads the pack after two stages. August Benedicto played catch up to Norte, making up for lost time on the bike and run. Meanwhile, 
The women's pro race is thoroughly dominated by the defending champion, Caroline Steffen. After two stages and a blistering bike race, Steffen has effectively put the race out of reach from Brie Wee and Belinda Granger. With the title seemingly out of reach, Wee and Granger are assured of a podium finish in Cebu. Sandra Arroyo Gonzalez surges to the lead and is on her way to posting the fastest runtime in the Filipino women's elite category. Despite the rain, triathletes still had to battle the heat on the road. Hydration stations help cool down the runners. As the finish line looms closer, Courtney Atkinson is still the man to beat. Behind him, Pete Jacobs, along with David Dello, Brent McMahon, and Chris McCormack battled for the remaining spots in the winner's podium. Courtney Atkinson crossed the finish line to claim his first ever Cobra Energy Drink 70.3 Philippines title. Atkinson finished with an overall time of 3 hours, 58 minutes and 7 seconds. I come here with very high hopes because uh... You know, I raced Pete at Cairns only a few months ago and, and did very well. Um, always for me, because my, my swim, my bike and the run are all equally strong. My first game plan is always to race hard from the front. You know, I had enough, I had enough uh, time off the bike to control my run and it worked out really well. Uh, thank Cebu for having us. The crowds were amazing on the bike. Absolute first time in Philippines ever. And what an amazing island, amazing water. One of the best swims I've ever had in a triathlon. <laughs> Jacobs was forced to settle for second as he finished the race 58 seconds behind Atkinson's overall time. Uh, the race was really good. Um, you know, I was uh, really happy with the swim. We got a gap, but unfortunately, I, I just felt flat. I didn't have the legs and um, I couldn't get going on the bike. So, And then I just had a really good run. I'm very happy to uh, claw my way back into second place and finish strong. So when I dropped back off Courtney, you know, there was five, six other guys to ride with. So we all rode together and then we got off started the run together. David Dell of Team Alaska completed the men's pro top three. Caroline Steffen posted an impressive overall time of 4 hours, 16 minutes and 12 seconds to finish first in the women's pro race. Stefan also placed ninth in the overall pros category, the only female pro to finish in the top 10. It was pretty hot today. I'm not really used to the heat because in Switzerland um, it's not that hot. It's just different, but I really enjoyed the race today. I just want to be faster than last year. Um, and I think I was four minutes faster, so um, I thought if, I, if I'm faster than last year, it should be all right. I should get my, my second win here. And, uh, um, I just try to get um, like a really good pace in the race, not overdo it, not underdo it, just um, feel, feel good all day and uh, I reckon that did a good job.
USA's Brie Wee came in second in the women's pro category with a time of 4 hours, 27 minutes, and 49 seconds. While Australia's Belinda Granger finished third in 4 hours, 33 minutes, and 50 seconds. Our very own Monica Torres finished fifth in the category behind Great Britain's Jackie Slack. August Benedicto relinquished his Filipino elite title to Banjo Norte. Hindi ko maiexpected na magiging first ako. Ang ginawa ko lang, uh, ginawa ko lang yung yung anong dapat kong gawin sa race. Uh, uh, focus lang, focus lang talaga sa race. Sa swim, uh, sumabay ako sa mga pro na mga tapos sa bike, uh, sabay lang sa grupo, read the chase and run. Bahala na. <laughs> Ginawa ko na lahat. Aking makakaya. Talagang, oh, talagang sabi ko, patay kong patay na. <laughs> talagang pinus ko hard, sabi ko, para makuha ko yung number two na. <laughs> Kasi, ang laking, ang laking ng difference na nasayang ko sa bisikleta. is 10 minutes behind. Awa ng Panginoon, yun, na i-fix ko naman. Oh. Alessandra Arroyo Gonzalez posted the best time in the women's Filipino elite category, followed by Jenny Guerrero. It's never easy, but when it's not easy, I know I really pushed myself. Uh, yeah, it was so much fun out there in the horse. Supporters and friends waited for the rest of the field to cross the finish line. Long-time Ironman participant and TV personality Drew Arellano finished in 4 hours, 57 minutes and 20 seconds to place within the top 50 overall age group category. It's, uh, it's a great race, great weather, well, it's a bit of the waves but uh, all in all it, it, it is a great race, uh, did my PR so I'm very happy. Matteo Godicelli overcame technical difficulties with his bike to finish the race in 5 hours, 21 minutes, and 54 seconds. Okay na ako eh. Na, as, as, uh, bike na ako. Nandun ako. Maganda na yung time ko. Kaso lang na-flat ako. So akala ko na talaga. Wala na. Buti na lang. May, may tumulong sa akin. Taga-polo try. So sobrang saya. So kapasalamat ako sa kanya. Natapos. At uh, yung goal time ko naabot naman. <laughs> Apple the Apps relay team swam, biked, and ran to raise awareness for education in Mindanao, finishing the race in 5 hours, 42 minutes, and 29 seconds. With the biggest field to date, along with impressive and dominating performances, and the unparalleled welcome and hospitality from the host province of Cebu and the city of Lapu-Lapu. The 2013 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines has met the challenge to be the biggest and best Ironman race in the country so far. The 2013 Cobra Ironman 70.3 Philippines has garnered a 97.6% satisfaction rating among participants, ranking second in the world after the Montremblant 70.3 race in terms of overall race experience, crowd support, hydration and support services, carbo-loading meals, and even entertainment. The Cobra Ironman 70.3 rated high among the highly satisfied race participants. Congratulations to the participants and finishers of the 2013 Cobra Energy Drink Ironman 70.3 Philippines. We look forward to even bigger and better competition. 
in 2014.